have we got here? A low rider. Nice. Oh. You're looking gangster in this car, Jim. <laughs> trying to pump it up. It almost sounds like it's leaking or something. Yeah, this, whatever this is, I heard it like click and it started doing something. Here's the airline. Yeah. Oh, it clicks. Uh huh. And then this guy must be some kind of, <laughs> some kind of sensor. That's why I didn't go in the bug. <laughs> yep. I checked this one. Uh huh. And I checked this one. The wiring's all the same. Okay, well, so at least well, you have a no good, no bad. But it don't tell me which one shuts down, which one starts up when it wants to uh, do something. Right, right. Okay, well, we're going to plug in the scanner and play around with it a little bit. So we got the car up in the air, and the best way to check these air struts, it seems, is to manually energize the air valve up here, open it up, and then just put compressed air in the strut. And right here, uh, this bellows was ripped up, so we kind of opened it up to see. We could hear the leak, but we couldn't really see where it was coming from. But what you can do is take power and ground, the middle pin in here, it's a three wire actuator, so unplug the computer side, don't mess with this, and just hook up direct power and ground to the valve, and you'll hear it click right there. Now just take a blow nozzle with a rubber tip. Inflate this guy a little bit. You'll see it move. Release your electrical. And now, I mean, you can just feel the air coming out of this bellows. We can put some soapy water on there for visual effects. But this thing is just just flat worn out. And what's the what's the retail price on one of these struts, Jim? Thousand so ninety two. That's from Napa. Yeah. Wonder what, how much it is from the dealer. Probably a little more. Probably closer to two. Closer to two grand for one strut. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's get some soapy water and see exactly where this leak is. So we're gonna give this a good spray down with. Good old soapy water, and hopefully you'll see some bubbles when we uh, get the air nozzle on there. Let's hook this guy up. Like that. And then, so we'll see it extend. Air this guy up. Oh yeah, right there between the, the metal and the and the rubber. It's leaking, leaking pretty bad. I wonder if you can retrofit these to like a standard Mac first and strut suspension. And this stuff is uh, not cheap to replace. You can watch Scotty Kilmer's videos and he'll tell you what he thinks about Mercedes and their fancy air suspension. But. I think that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.